Yeah. Hi, I'm Patty O'Reilly and I'm with the Universal Tennis Academy. Today I'm going to talk to you about the concept of topspin. When your ball goes long, usually it's because of a lack of topspin. 90% of topspin is created from the swing path of the racket, the low to high brushing up motion against the ball. There are two things that will negatively impact that swing path. The first is your contact point. If you're out of your strike zone, you will have a difficulty doing the low to high swing path. For instance, if you hit the ball late and you do the swing path, you'll hit yourself in the head. So you can't do the low to high swing path. The swing path is easier done in front of the body. Number two is how tightly you're holding the racket. On a scale of one to five, five being as tight as you can hold it, we don't want you holding the racket above a two for your topspin rally ball. If I hold the racket loosely, my racket head will drop more. See how the racket drops below my hand? Right? So the looser I hold it, the more the racket head drops below my hand and then underneath the incoming ball. In fact, if a ball is really low, or if I want to create even more topspin, I will hold the racket even looser, perhaps a one or a half, to really enable my racket head to drop underneath the ball. If I was holding the racket in any, if there was tension in any fingers in particular, it would be in the bottom two fingers, the pinky and the ring finger. That way I could really shape the ball. When I hold the racket tightly in the thumb or the, 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 the middle finger or the index finger, I'm gonna tighten these muscles and I won't be able to shape the ball as effectively. So if there's tension anywhere, remember it's in the bottom two fingers. Now, to help you really get underneath the, the ball, you want to use your legs. But the tendency will be sometimes to be really athletic in the legs and then to tighten the hand and tighten the shoulders for more power. That's a mistake. Be athletic in the legs, load your legs, but keep relaxed shoulders. Loosen your hand so the racket head drops underneath your hand and underneath the ball. If the racket wobbles in your hand, many players, they want to hold the racket tighter. That's a mistake, don't do that. Usually when the racket wobbles in your hand, it's because you hit the ball along the frame. If you hit the ball in the center of the strings, the racket won't wobble. In between points, put your racket in the other hand. Shake out your shoulders, shake out your hitting arm. That way, the next time you go into the point and you hit a ball, you won't have any tension in that arm. So your racket head can really drop underneath the ball. The other 10% of topspin comes from the angle of the racket head. So if I want to hit slice, my lower edge will lead. If I want to hit topspin, the top edge slightly leads. So you want to know what angle your racket head is as you go through your stroke. Topspin is an important concept to take your game to the next level. Good luck, and I look forward to seeing you on the tennis courts.